Okay, so next one from January. Um, I actually really wanted this back in December before it uh, was delayed, but I didn't have a pre-order for it and they'd been full up with the delay. There were some open slots and I absolutely love Abigail. She's one of the best daughters in Fate Grand Order. Um, and I love the Salem arc. Like Salem Witch Trials is one of the most fascinating periods in history for me. So I was really excited to pick her up. I have seen some people have issues, so I'm kind of like hoping that this one is going to be fine. You can get her friend. I'm kind of glad I didn't because the size of this box is way bigger than I expected. Um, but we've got the Type Moon um, sticker of authenticity, Fake Grand Order for an Abigail Williams. Um, we've got AW in the corner for her initials. And the Cooney is at the bottom here along with Hobby Japan. Uh, so on this side, we've just got some more of this green color, which is the base color. Um, same on this side, but it kind of like goes across. Oh gosh, <sighs> scary. <laughs> I was having a, oh my God, she is really off balance. Right, and then it goes around this corner like this. Right, I'm gonna get this open um, quickly after showing you this last part on the back. Another stick of authenticity along with all of the information and some shots of her. So she does come with interchangeable heads. Right, I'm gonna get this open before I break her. I can't describe how breathless I got then. <laughs> Panic. Oh gosh, I'm going through the box here. There we go. There we go, right. Let's get her open. So we do have some instructions on the top, um, which are attached to the blister. Yeah, so Amakuni never have like windows in their boxes, which is pretty interesting. The plastic, the cardboard is actually pretty flimsy. Um, right. So from a first look, we should be okay. Hopefully. Let me get that there. And then this one out as well. So whether there is more on the back or not. I oh know it's just that one sheet. Okay, weird how they put that in plastic. Right, so basically that you can change her head and you can change her arm if you get um her friend as well. So we won't be changing her arm because I did not get her friend, but we will be opening this up. Hopefully without incident. Ooh. This is some stiff plastic actually. Um, second but I thought there was going to be more of that wire. Right so the base, oh there is a metal peg which is nice um, and to be honest in person it looks a bit nicer but I'm still not a big fan of this green colour, it's a bit of a weird choice uh, but it is what it is I guess. Um, oh Abigail is actually bigger than I thought she would be. Right please, please be okay. She, she seems to be okay. I must have been lucky. Um, so the person who I saw saying they had issues, Ex Karagane. Um, oh god. Her head does come off pretty easily actually. Yeah, so we are gonna ooh. Oh pretty. Um Yeah, she looks fine. Um I'm gonna put her foot on here and then I'll switch her head over after. Oh gosh. I say this, um, you know what, I'm gonna come back in a minute. So now I've actually got her assembled. Um, she does come with two heads. So the first one is this uh, simple smile, which is pretty cute. Um, thankfully, mine looks to be without problems. So there's lovely painting on her hair. There's a good gradient going along. My lighting doesn't show it very well, but it does look really pretty. And these bits that come out are really nice as well. So these do come in some plastic to keep them safe, along with like a piece that you can hold it with. Putting the head on was a little bit nerve wracking though, 
um, because you have to pull out her head and everything and it's just trying to get a bit to hold on to was tough. Um, but yeah, I, I'm glad that I picked that up because uh, she looks so adorable. So let's have a look. So there is a little hat that you get that's magnetic that sticks to her. Um, if I pull her in, her face with the smile is so cute. And she's got these lovely ribbons on her. There is a few little like marks here and there, but they are minuscule compared to the issues I've seen people have. Um, around the back, the dress is still really well sculpted and you can just about see all the ribbons up there. Her hair does flow out and it does have a nice gradient to it as well. Um, the magnets for her hat are pretty strong um, to hold it in place. Um, if I go back up to her dress as well, you've got her little teddy bear there and her sleeves at the end look really cute. Um, she's wearing this dress with the butterflies at the bottom and the detail on the butterflies is lovely. Um, she has her hand hidden in her sleeve all the time and then she's got her bloomers on underneath which are this gorgeous pearlescent white with the ribbon coming off. Then her white stockings and little shoes are so cute. Like, this is much bigger than I expected. It's a one seventh, it looks. Because Abigail's a child, like, she's supposed to be quite small. Um, but yeah, the base isn't as bad as I was expecting. And it's a really good size, honestly. It's not too big. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm honestly very glad I got her. She looks lovely. So I'm going to take a moment and get some shots with her. <laughs> 